I'm Bruce Stoughton and I'm the Vice Chancellor and uh, University President of Macquarie University and I'm delighted to have you all here this morning just to say a few words to you about why I think you should come to Macquarie University. Now, a year or so ago, almost no one in this university knew me because a year ago on Monday, last Monday, I was the new Vice Chancellor. So no one had much clue about who I was or what I was all about. Folks got to learn over time that I was a little quirky and I sometimes do unusual things. Like I sometimes walk up in the front row of student audiences and do things like this. <laughs> and that says something about me which I'll come back to and visit later. So why Macquarie University? Well, I came back to Australia from the United States to lead this university because I think at this point in the history of this university, on the verge of our 50th birthday, this is a wonderful university, a university that is on the move. And you will have a chance today to see all sorts of things around the university about the wonderful academic programs that we run in learning and teaching uh, across this university, where we certainly don't have all disciplines. And one of the things you will learn about us is that we are very authentic to who we are. We don't have all disciplines, but we do have a wonderful array of disciplines. You can come here, and uh, I will crave the indulgence of my university colleagues who are here if I don't mention everything you could do at this university, but I can't do that. But you could come here and you could study in one of the, if not the strongest, ancient history departments in our Faculty of Arts in this country. We are, in fact, the only university in Australia to have an archaeological license to dig in the Nile Valley. There are historically eminent universities in this country which do not have that privilege. You could come here and you could study in our brand new engineering program in the Faculty of Science, which is not a program about a large engineering. It's a program about engineering that aligns with the, uh, the technology corridor right beside the university. Remembering back that Macquarie University was founded to be a different university a university that essentially was to be the Stanford of the South Pacific, a university on freehold land beside a technology corridor. We are much more than that right now, but you, we have a brand new engineering program over the last few years. You could study in our science faculty other disciplines where we have preeminence in this state and beyond in physics, astronomy, environmental sciences. In uh, our faculty of human sciences, we have a long and very rich history in disciplines like education, particularly in early childhood education, and have award-winning programs about education of youngsters, preschool children, on this very campus. We have a new physiotherapy program in the Faculty of Human Sciences as well. And uh, in our Faculty of Business and e Economics, there is a very rich tradition of having been among the largest and most successful university programs in disciplines like accounting and actuarial studies and so on. We have a law school, a new medical school. We are in fact the only university in Australia to own and operate a private hospital on this campus just across the, or the way there. And that program is gathering momentum very nicely. So from our founding as a university of difference, we are now at a point in our history where we have recently defined what this university should be all about for the far horizon. And we have decided as a university community in bringing together the university community since my arrival that Macquarie University should be a university about transformative learning and life experiences for our students and our staff. Everyone who comes across our portals should have the opportunity to have their life changed in a positive way. And we are a university about engagement about deep engagement with ourselves internally, but also particularly with our partners beyond. And I shall come back to that as well. Because we truly are a university that is now among the leading universities in Australia. If you look at the sort of things that define eminence in universities in Australia, we punch into the top ranks of those now. If you look at research, 
and how we perform in research. And research underpins a, what, a lot of what a university is all a about. We are certainly in the, uh, uh, the top 10 universities in Australia now and on a very steep climb into that over the last 10 years. So what is, why come to Macquarie University? Well, Macquarie University, obviously, part of it is a university ex experience to learn, to study, and to acquire a qualification. And I would advocate to you that if that's all we do for you, then we have failed. We need to do much more than that. This university, I believe, is about those things and a lot more. It is about, as I mentioned before, providing a set of opportunities and experiences which are quite flexible to have transformative things go on in one's life as a student. So there's a lot of opportunity for flexibility in programs. We have a lot of programs, lots of ways you can design and put those programs together. And I would urge you to consult in detail with my colleagues across the university in the various venues that are out there today to learn about the specifics of how you might put together a program that is specific to your particular interests and needs. But the reality today, for those of you who are leaving high school, and probably a little bit beyond that, if you compare what your lives are going to be like compared to the lives of your parents and your grandparents, and perhaps in between those two people of my age, then life is very different for you going forward than it was for us. Most people who graduated from a university around the time I did could expect to have a small number of employers during their professional or working life. A small number. Three, four, one, something like that. Today, the statistics show that you will have probably several dozen employers during your life because the world has moved and become much more fast-paced, more unstable on some fronts, more dynamic and exciting on other fronts. And so part of our job as a university is not just to deliver education programs that are about content, but is to have you have a learning experience that is more than about being taught. Because a university is not about teaching. A university is about learning. And there's a strong difference between those. We aim to provide a learning experience here where we are partners. We are engaged together with you in designing and delivering a set of learning experiences or educational experiences for each and every student who comes in here so that they can have a unique experience that sets them up certainly with some content knowledge perhaps in a particular professional discipline area, but also sets them up with the skills to be able to constantly add to that uh, knowledge and iterate it in a way which will serve them well for the rest of their professional lives. So there's an aspect about a university experience at Macquarie University that is about learning content, but it's much more than that. It is about getting the skills to help you how to be successful iteratively or sequentially as you move through different life circumstances as you go along. It is also an opportunity, I believe, to see the world in all of its richness, breadth and depth, and to have a range of experiences that transcend just the learning environment. Social experiences, informal experiences, sporting clubs, organisations that um, students run, which we support, to provide a richness, and we have 170 or so student clubs that are student run around all sorts of things, different political persuasions, different uh, social groups, sporting groups, and so on. So there's a lot of opportunity there. But we also do some things to help you prepare for civic life, for engagement as members of society going forward. You can't pick up a newspaper, watch something on the television, hear a soundbite about the world today and not come to terms with the reality that the world is a very complex place. 
a very, very complex place. I have been extraordinarily privileged in my last role to travel the world all over. My last year before I came back to Australia, I traveled 600,000 frequent flyer miles, literally to the ends of the earth and back, working in contexts all over the world. And I'll come back to that as well. And I learned then, as you see on the news today, that the world needs people to be able to step up to the plate and be careful and thoughtful and purposeful in how you chart the course of the world for the world's future. So we provide you with experiences around people, the planet, and participation as well. Every student has to do a unit of, of study which is approved across the different parts of the university in, in each of those areas. One of those I'll just highlight for you is the PACE experience, the participation and community engagement experience, a signature program of this university, the only university in Australia with a program that comes close to this at all, where our students go out and do academically based work for credit, not an internship or a tag along or a watch what's going on, real work with organisations as close as city governments right next door to us, the Ride uh, City Council, non-profit organisations a few kilometres away from here, and as far flung as the highlands of Peru, the jungles of Borneo, all over the world. We have a program with thousands of students each year going out and participating in meaningful academic work to learn what it is like to be a student that is prepared to live in the complex and dynamic world that we all enjoy today, and indeed for which we are custodians. We at this university take very seriously the custodianship that we have for each of the youngsters who comes into our midst, or for the researchers who come to do their research degrees here. We take great responsibility for our staff who work with us to make all this happen. But we also take great responsibility for our place, our small place, our humble place in making the world a better place for those who will come after us. And we do that through the very careful curriculum design that our provost, Professor Judith, Judith, Judith Sachs, has put in place over the last, uh, the last uh, few years. So I want to close very soon and just leave enough time for a few questions perhaps at the end. We are on tight time schedules. These rooms get used in seriatim very quickly. I want to close by just an observation about what my hope as the Vice Chancellor is for each and every student who comes in here. And that's about 38,000 or so students who come onto this campus or study by distance with us. And we have very flexible learning opportunities as well. Is for me, education is about transformation. When I learn a long while ago as a rural student coming from the outback of Australia on a sheep station, if I could have seen myself now, having had the extraordinary professional opportunities I have had, uh, from the time when my grandmother gave me this as a toy to play with, and I have it sitting on my shelf in my office now to remind me where it all began. As a rural student, as the first person to ever go to university in my family, and as I became a young man and I graduated uh, from medical school, I used to use this because I am a pediatrician by training. I'm a physician and a pediatrician. And when I used to want to look in a child's eyes with that device called an ophthalmoscope, I would hold this out there. And so I would get the child to hold their eye still so I could look in their eye as a, pedi as a children's doctor. I would use this toy that my grandmother gave me and it has traveled with me ever since. It reminds me of the individuality that educational experiences provide for all of us. And so I was in the mountains of the United States, uh, in the Rocky Mountains a few months ago, uh, at a wonderful conference of university presidents uh, in Colorado, in Aspen. And I was, had spent three wonderful days listening to leaders from higher education and politics and, uh, and business talk about the future of higher education. It was a wonderful experience. I get to do all sorts of interesting things. And I was going back to the airport 
uh, in Aspen, a tiny airport high in the mountains, and the young man from the hotel who drove me back to the, ho to the airport um, was very kind, and I put my hand in my pocket and looked in my billfold, and I had no American cash to give this young man a tip. So I went into my uh, passport wallet, and I looked for something to just maybe give him something to remember a conversation by. Because as I chatted to him, driving out to the airport, I learned about him, a wonderful young man, very engaged. I'd never met him before, but very engaging young man. And I learned that he was from Colorado. He was a student at a local university, and he'd come, as he said, over the mountain to the university. He'd never been outside Colorado. He had a particular view of the world that was constrained by being in a certain geography. So I pulled this out of my wallet. And I said to him, what is this? And if you look at it, you probably can't read anything on there, can you? No, sir. It's written in Arabic. <clears throat> this note is going to be worthless. When I got it two years ago, it was worth about eight American dollars. It's a dinar, 10 dinar note from Libya. Because I worked there 18 trips in and out of Libya, developing a national diabetes, um, diabetes program. And I had told this young man about my experience of working all over the, the world. And I pulled one of these 10 dinar notes that I can't change. I've got about, I don't know how many of them I've got stuck in my, tra my travel wallet. They're worth nothing these days because Colonel Qaddafi's photograph is on most old uh, Libyan currency. And they took it away. And so they printed new notes. And so I... I took it out and I said, I'm going to give this young man one of these 10 Libyan dinar notes, which I did. And I said, why don't you put this in a drawer? And every time you see it, remember, open your eyes to the world. Open your eyes to the world. You can make a difference. And so I hope he does that, because I gave him, and he was quite overcome. He's, you know, I'm sure he would have probably rather got 10 American bucks to go and have a drink that night, but he was quite overcome. And I think it resonated with me very deeply that the purpose of education, I wouldn't be where I am today, having had the extraordinary privilege of working all over the world, of caring for sick children in academic health centres, of... Um, being able to play a very small role in helping shape and craft the organisations I've been part of if it was not for the step between being a high school student in rural Australia and going to university. It is transformational. And I aspire that this university does have a transforming effect on every single person who comes into the university. We are a university, I believe, that is deeply committed to playing our part in trying to help each of you who are youngsters that want to come and study here be successful, to prepare you for whatever comes in your lives in the same way as I could not possibly have seen when I was sitting on my grandparents' sheep ranch porch and my grandmother gave me that. And I could not possibly have seen when I was a student at the uh, Dubbo High School that I would be traveling to Libya on a corporate aircraft with a United States oil company uh, philanthropist to launch a national diabetes program in the same way as I was going all over the world, in the same way as I was provided the extraordinary privilege to share some of the most profound times of families' lives in dealing with their very sick children. It all happened because of education. We will be very delighted if you decide that you want to come here because it's the right fit. I have the greatest of respect that you have many choices to make and you should choose wisely. We will be particularly delighted if you choose you want to come here because I think your experience here will be terrific. And I will be doing everything I possibly can with a range of wonderful folks who are dotted around the room here to make your experience what you want it to be so that your life is transformed in some small or large way. What is the time? Do I have time for all questions? Five minutes. Questions, comments? But thank you all.